Hello everyone, this is Lana from South Florida. I just came back from my long trip. I was out of country for four weeks and just came home and it's dark already. I came out to my little garden and that's what I found. My pitaya cactus is blooming. This is white variety dragon fruit or pitaya. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but it has few flowers that already done flowering and look the size of them. They bloom at night time. You can see them sometimes early in the morning, still opened. They're huge. There is my hand and there is a flower. <laughs> there are few of them on this plant. One, two, three, four, five bloomed out, two new ones blooming. I have a couple of fruits already took. <laughs> this one still have old flower. It's usually falls off, dries off and falls off. So we have dragon fruit forming here. It takes a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks or so. We'll check on them. There is one more over there. There's another flower over there. That was so exciting to come out and see them. Beautiful. They smell so nice. And the dragon fruit from your own garden is amazing. Let's see. So it is a cactus kind of plant, but it's not like regular, regular, regular cactus. I like sun, likes water. I do fertilize it sometimes with the um, with the fertilizer for the fruits and vegetables. So I am actually going to collect a little bit of pollen from this one because I have another cactus that is pink variety that have flower buds but they're not open yet. But that pink one needs to be pollinated with a different plant, different kind of pitaya or dragon fruit, fruit flower. This white variety, I think it's Vietnamese white, it's self-pollinated. I don't need to do anything with it for, for it in turn to bloom and, and make a fruit. I was not even here and it's already heavy. start making fruits. But I'm gonna see if I can show you guys with the camera in my one hand <laughs> what I'm gonna do here. So I have little plastic container and a little brush. I'm just gonna brush off. Um, I don't think I can do it with one hand, so I'm gonna pause probably, but I'm just gonna shake the the yellow. See on the little stems, there are a lot of yellow powder, so I'm gonna shake a little bit. Oh, you can even see how it's See, it's already falling on the petals of the flower, so I need a little bit of that. And I put it in the container and close it. I can keep it in the refrigerator for several days and it's going to be fine. And then I can use it on my other um, pitaya, the pink variety, when it blooms to pollinate it with this. I just got a little bit of it in the pan and it's starting to rain so I have to run out so it's not gonna get wet and this is my other plant the pink variety I have few flower buds they're not open but maybe in a couple days they will so I will pollinate them with the, the white variety pollen so this short video is about my little pitaya plants, my little dragon fruits. 
and tomorrow after work I will see the orchids I'm gonna go through the garden and count the damages thank you guys for watching it's raining